In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you can customize your new website using the module positioning feature of these rocket theme templates. And these module positions are what helps people like me and maybe like you as well be able to actually work with and build these beautiful websites without having to know coding. Having these module positions is the secret really behind being able to build these wonderful websites without having to know all of that uh, coding language. All right, uh, did a little uh, research and uh, discovered that uh, the way to kind of fix this problem of not being able to see our initial menu item because it's a, a dark color, uh, working with another dark color. It's something that's easy to do, but it it's really something that I need to show you in a tutorial that's maybe five or six steps down the road. And uh, so I don't want to get sidetracked by showing you how to do that. So let's temporarily go into our template manager, just in case you have defined these dark colors like I have, and you're having a hard time reading your menu items. Just temporarily change this to a, a light color, the, the background color of your header, and uh, save that. Even though the color scheme might not match what you've currently got, at least for now, you'll be able to actually <laughs> read the uh, menu items as we work with this. And then, like I say, a little bit down the road, we'll show you another method of actually customizing your site that uh, is really amazing and wonderful. And it's while we take a look at this other customization method that we'll be able to pick the colors that uh, will show up in our menu items. And uh, just to give you an element of hope of what uh, it might look like, uh, here's a website where I have uh, already completed the uh, design. And here we have our nice logo matching the color of the actual text in our menu options. So stay with us. Uh, we will take care of this and uh, we'll get back to you a couple tutorials down the road on how we do this. All right, and with that uh, taken care of, let's take a, a look at our website. Just kind of scroll down once and look at the different elements. If it's easier for you to get a sense for how this all should look uh, with all of the photographs installed, remember you can always go back to Rocket Theme and uh, click on the demo and bring up the demo site for Spectral as they have designed it with all the photographs intact. And this might help you visualize what we're uh, wanting to illustrate here with this tutorial on uh, modules. If you take a look at the site, you'll see that there are many elements placed on the site. You have this header area at the top with uh, a logo and uh, menu items. And then below that, you have uh, another element that has an interesting presentation of photographs and text information. And then down a little further, we have other elements that are placed below that. And you might be wondering, well, how did this element get down here instead of above this photograph and text information? Or why isn't the logo down further? Why aren't the menu items on the side? How is the template defining where all of these elements should be placed on the page? Well, to a large extent, this happens with what is called module positions. And right here at the demo site, uh, Rocket Theme explains how this works. Uh, if you click on Features and then Module Positions, it gives you a chart here that helps you visualize how the website is set up. And in doing this, the designers, the developers there have really done all of the heavy lifting and uh, they have prepared these module positions. They've given them names, the very top part where we just saw our logo and menu positions. They are in a module position called header. The next module position down is called a drawer and uh, the next one down is called the top. And uh, then we have breadcrumbs and showcase and utility and feature and main top, expanded top. And uh, then down further, we have the content top and the main body. It's this main body where actually most of the elements of our website will go. It'll go into the main body position. 
But alongside of that, we have sidebar uh, module positions where we can put things like advertising banners. You know, if you're creating a website that is mainly a blog and you want to try and make a little extra money by uh, showing advertising at your site, well, you can put it in one of these sidebars. And then you have the main bottom, expanded bottom. You can keep going down. Uh, <laughs> they have a lot of module positions that you can add extra elements to your website. Now, as you visualize these many module positions that are available in the template and try and picture in your mind how these different positions work to be able to display the elements that uh, we have on our site at the moment, uh, you might be wondering, well, what happens if we don't have anything in the drawer? Or what if we don't have anything in the top or breadcrumbs or, or showcase, but we have something in utility? Is there going to be a lot of space now between our header and our utility? And the answer is no. Any module position that is empty, where we don't have any element assigned to that module position, that is just simply going to not show up on the site. You might notice over here this little message that talks about it being collapsible. If no modules are published to a position, the entire area or row will not appear. It'll just simply collapse. And so that's how we are able to have no white space in between these different module positions. And here uh, might be a little easier to visualize what we're talking about, how all of these elements, even though there may be rows of positions that uh, are not used in this uh, demo site, there's no big white spaces. It's all collapsed. And it's only those positions that we assign certain elements to, like photographs or texts or blog articles. It's only then that they'll show up on our website. So you might be wondering, well, how do we assign these positions? When we go to our website, what is it that determines that our logo is going to show up at the top and not somewhere down near the bottom? Or there are menu items. How, how is it that they're not showing up in a sidebar? What makes it show up at the top? How can we assign that? Actually, those particular items, the, the logo and the menu items, are something that uh, can be defined in the template manager that we were working with in our last tutorial. Now, the template manager is not the only place where we can define where our elements are going to go, but it is one place where some of the elements are defined. And so let's maybe just go back to our template manager briefly and show you where that happens. Uh, and to get to the template manager, remember it's the top menu item here. And uh, under extensions, go down to template manager and click on our spectral master. And uh, you might remember when we were working, well, even in style, I believe that there was, uh, yes, yeah, our logo. Here's, here's our logo. And notice uh, here you're given the option of, of where to place it. And when you click on the little down arrow, you will see that all of the module positions that we discovered over here at our site, all of these positions, you know, the header, the drawer, the top, the bread comes, the, show, the showcase, they are uh, showing up when we do this drop down menu. And so if, you know, for some reason we wanted our logo to show up uh, maybe in the showcase area rather than the top header position, well, that's where we can define this right here. And if we were to save our template and go take a look and notice what happens to our logo, our spectral logo, we see now that it has dropped down into this element here. Uh, so that's probably not the best place to put our logo. Uh, logos really need and should be placed in the header position for a couple of reasons. One, it's, it's the first thing uh, uh, that people will see and it identifies the site but also it is uh, something that is clickable that brings people back to your home page. Let's say we're down uh, in another area of the website, uh, an About Us page, and we want to get back to the actual home page. Well, we can do that not only by the home button, but as a kind of a website design standard in the industry, the logo should also be clickable and bring you back to the home page. And we see that uh, Rocket Theme has done that for us. We don't have to do any special coding to get that to work. It's all set up for you. 
And uh, so that's another reason why it's good to have the logo there. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other things that can be defined. Uh, maybe let's go into features. You remember we had this option to show the date, the current date as people come to your website and that we shut this off. Let's turn that on just to show you what, uh, how this module positioning works. We'll see that currently it's in the position called Utility A. If we were to go over to our guide here, we would see that that's you know, relatively close to the top. We've got a few th elements above that, but uh, at least below the showcase. I wonder where that would go if we just left it in utility. Let's see where that pops up. Uh, utility A, let's save that and uh, see where our date is going to show up. And kind of watch this area in here. I think it'll show up right below this, this module here, I believe, is in the showcase area. So as we look at our module positions here, we see that uh, this is where our photograph is probably showing up in the showcase the date now should show just below it. Let's see if that happens. And uh, there it is showing up just uh, below our, our uh, photograph now in the utility area. And if we go back to Template Manager, we'll see that a number of these other options are also uh, <clears throat> definable as to where you want to place them right here from Templates Manager. If we went over to the Menu tab, we see that uh, we also have the option to define the position, the module position here within the Templates Manager as to where the menu will be. And as you scroll down there, you see all of the options that are available where you might want to place your menu. I kind of like it where it is up at the top, so we'll leave it there. <clears throat> all right, but the Templates Manager is really only one of several places where you can define where the elements of your website are going to be placed uh, in your design. Another uh, main place where this happens is over under extensions go to module manager. In this module manager it might look a little overwhelming at first. I've got it uh, already opened up to a display all that's why they're all showing up here. Don't worry about this this is all the sample data that came in when we uh, installed the rocket theme uh, with all of the sample data. In maybe the next tutorial, or very soon at least, we're going to go in and delete almost all of these and it'll become much more manageable, less intimidating for the first time user of uh, Joomla or Rocket Theme. Um, we'll just have to work with a few items here instead of this long list. But you'll notice that here showing up with each module, each one of these elements that you see showing up on this home page as well as all of the other pages you know all of these little items all of these little elements that show up on all of the pages in this demo site that's what's being controlled here in the module manager and if you look over here uh, where it says position you can see that each one of them have been defined to go and reside in a particular module position and they're all defined here and as you open up any one of these on the FP Rock Sprocket Showcase, this is really the element that is displaying our photograph of the choir. So if we were to say change the position, and you can do that here under select position, and change this to, oh, you know, when you hear something you need to watch out for the first time you work with the module manager, is that uh, when you go to change a position of any element that you're working with the first time, it opens up not only the module positions of the sprocket template, but also all of the module positions of the other templates that came packaged with Joomla. So you see here there's some atomic uh, module positions showing up here. And, and so to, to avoid confusion, it's best to go over to the templates, select the template from the drop-down menu to be RT Spectral. Now, the only module positions that will show up will be the spectral uh, positions, so that will avoid any confusion there. Let's say we would like to have the element that contains our, our uh, photograph of the choir to appear down at the bottom of our site. Well, we could choose the module position bottom A, save that, 
and go take a look at our site. And our choir should disappear from the top here. And everything is pushed up. Remember, it's collapsible. So that because we've lost our element there, everything moves up. Now we see our, our date showing up as one of the items that's just below our header. But if we scroll down, well, we see that part of it uh, actually came in um, the text part. Um, but the choir is gone. So let's go back to our module manager and uh, open up that showcase again and change that back to where it should be in the showcase A and hopefully we'll get our choir back and there they are. Okay, uh, so that maybe wasn't the best example but you get the idea of how you can move huge elements around uh, with uh, the definitions that you can make in each one of these module managers. Let's uh, save and close this. Let's take a look at this popular features element of the site. All right, and as we look at the title here, uh, popular features, we see over here that uh, it is set to show title. So we should be able to go to our, our website and find that. Well, here it is right here, showing up popular features. So let's maybe see if we can't have a little more luck moving this item to a different module position. Uh, let's go back and instead of having it show up in feature A, I should have pointed out the next time that you open this, I believe in any given session, it's going to remember that all you want is the spectral. So you only have to choose that once in any given session. Once you log out of Joomla, log in again, you'll have to do that again. But now, uh, still, all of the elements that show here, all of the module positions, are still going to be just the spectral ones. Currently, we have it in Feature A, and if we wanted to refresh our memory as to where Feature A is, we can go to our sample demo site and go to Module Positions and check where that is. Right now, it's showing up in Feature A. What if we wanted to try and put it down in the main bottom? Let's see if we can move it down to the main bottom. Main bottom A. Let's save this and see if we were able to push that down. And something happened. We now, a lot of things have moved up. And now we have our popular features showing up down here. Now you'll notice this time uh, spreading out through the whole page of the main bottom. And that's because currently, or at the moment, there was nothing else in main bottom to compete with. And so rather than it being collapsed and taking up only you know, a portion of the main bottom width, it's now being spread out over the whole width. And uh, perhaps in another tutorial, we'll show you how you can force positions. Uh, if you don't want them spread out like that, you are, are able to actually define how much width you want any given element to take up in your website design. All right, well, I believe that does it for this tutorial. I hope it hasn't been too overwhelming or too confusing. I just wanted you to get this concept of how the template has been divided up into all of these module positions and how every time you go to create a new element as you're designing the site, you will be asked you know, where you want to position it. That will be one of the fields that you can define. And, you know, from the drop-down list, you can decide where any given element should go on the design of your website. All right, that does it for this tutorial on customizing your site using module positions.